What do you think looks better? This LEGO set officially designed by some of the most talented creative people on the planet or my version of the set after breaking it down and reusing the pieces to make what I thought would look cool. Alright, that's probably not the response I wanted, but I've always kind of wondered what would happen if you were to take two random LEGO sets and combine them together. Like you can do some super weird things with them and make awesome stuff, but LEGO generally makes it pretty difficult to do because they say it's all about creativity uh, and then give you instructions like what? So I decided to throw out the instructions and ask some of my friends for two different LEGO themes to combine. What's up Generic Sud? It's Riley from Brick Science and I want you to combine LEGO Minecraft and LEGO Ninjago, both themes, and see just how it turns out. And show me when you're done because I want to see it. <laughs> now these are two of my all-time favorite LEGO themes and you probably didn't know that LEGO's already done this before so I went out and bought a box that came with this LEGO man. It's basically what LEGO think would happen if you threw together Ninjago and Minecraft so I can use it as a point of reference when trying to make something cool. I also got this Iron Golem, Baby Chicken, some random guy and some Minecraft stickers so thanks Ali whoever you are. Now Ninjago's known for its dragons which luckily enough also exist in Minecraft which you'd know if you were good at a game like me. Alright genuinely that that was just lag, I swear. Although this wouldn't be nearly enough to sell as one set, so I bought another Minecraft set, which is basically just a, a giant bee. If I could mechanize this bee, it would fit right in with something the ninja would actually have. And now with a few custom Ninjago Minecraft minifigures, this is Jay in Minecraft form with his nunchucks. You've got Cole with the sight of quakes, and of course Kai with his iconic sword of fire. Not to mention Minecraft Garmadon, who is absolutely terrifying. If the ninja stand any chance of defeating this man, they're gonna need something uh very huge. Alright, so basically my plan is to just take this like B. It needs to be unstoppable, okay? And the way I'm gonna do that is basically by destroying this set uh, uh, right here. Lovely. If I could make this into some sort of tank or something, it might be powerful enough. And after some building, this is what I came up with. Basically a bee on wheels with huge turrets for antennas and an ecosystem of bees to protect the ninja. Definitely something the ninja would use. Now for Garmadon, I just gave him the ordinary ender dragon. Nothing too special apart from, oh, I don't know, a laser tail? This shoots pure energy at the ninja. Who would be hopeless were it not for the army of bees to protect them? and even attack the dragon themselves. And whilst they might think they've won the battle, they completely forgot about the most powerful villain of all time, Terry. <laughs> who single-handedly destroys each and every one of the ninja with minimal effort and steals the golden weapons for himself, just so he can reach his true final form of Minecraft Gareth. Needless to say, these sets are honestly a pretty cool interpretation of what Ninjago combined with Minecraft might look like. Dude, that looks super cool, actually. I never thought Garmadon would work super well. Great job on the B tank. I'd give it like a 10 out of 10 if I'm supposed to rate this. That's a pretty dope mashup. Great job. If I'm gonna show LEGO just how creative you can be, I'm gonna need to step it up about 12 gears because whilst this is cool, it's not enough and LEGO is just so expensive. We have no money. But luckily enough, I've got tons of ideas. Wait a second, is that Raid Shadow Legends? Oh, hello, Mr. Small Brick Man. What's the matter? Are you bored? There is no need to feel down when you can hop onto the wildly popular game Raid Shadow Legends, a tactical turn based MMO battle game and the sponsor of today's video. Did you know it's completely free to play and has over 80 million downloads already? It's already got a lot of people who love it. I mean, this is like a lot. And there's billions of ways to customize your champions, not to mention there's awesome bosses to take on, as well as the fact you can find like real players in PvP arenas. I love Raid Shadow Legends. This is you before downloading the game, and this is you after. Your life improved exponentially. I mean, come on, these graphics are pretty incredible, and if you're a mobile gamer, you'll know how rare that is. And if you want to try it out for yourself, please click the link in the description or the top comment and see what you think. I don't think you'll be disappointed. Thanks to Raid Shadow Legends for sponsoring today's video, because I think what I've built so far is okay. But to be honest, there's still hundreds of other LEGO themes out there, so this isn't going to be nearly enough, so I ask for some help. Okay, so the two themes I'm going to have you combine or Lego Batman, and then the symbol of masculinity, the theme everyone looks for when they enter the store, Lego Friends. Lego Friends and Lego Batman are pretty much as opposite as you can get. Alright, I literally have, like, no idea how I'm gonna do this. Unironically, the Lego Friends sets are some of the best. I mean, look at this. No other Lego theme gets this kind of treatment. This is it's just so good. So naturally, I went out and bought this Lego Friends set, which came with this gorgeous dog rescue van, as well as these two that are trying to save this poor disabled dog. Oh, it's so sad. So Oh. But <laughs> hang on a second. Um, let's rewind that quickly and see. Uh, uh, what does that sign say? No. 
dogs. So I called in Lego Batman, who needs to keep the city safe to stop crimes like this from happening. I also bought this upgraded Batman, who might just be strong enough to fight the Lego Flash in Friends form. Quick uh, fun fact, by the way. Lego actually made a line of DC superheroes using the Lego mini dolls, like the Flash here, who's trying to help the dog out too. Criminal! Of course, I had to remodel the dog rescue van into something a little more appropriate for the evil that these people are doing, and combined Batman's bikes, loading them up with loads of weapons of mass destruction. All, of course, just to keep the city safe. <laughs> Thanks, Batman. And after arriving at the scene, the Lego Friends crew jump Batman and seem to be winning when he has no choice but to inject himself and become the anti-puppy rescue man. Now, he can easily disarm the Flash as well as the two other criminals and put the lost dog somewhere he's actually allowed to be. Much better. I think this is the perfect combination of the two sets and just goes to show how diverse and creative you can be with Lego. All right, Generic has just slid in my DMs and sent me the pics. As you can see, he did combine Lego friends and Batman successfully. Batman is looking thick over there. I don't know who took that absolutely steam and poop over there, but 10 out of 10 would purchase any price. Now I've got two sets that pretty much show just how much you can do with Lego, but there's still one thing I have to do. Growing up, I always wanted to see something a bit more interesting from Lego, but this red idiot bought me boring Lego sets, so I need to overtake him in subscribers by the end of the year, which starts with hitting 300k. So please subscribe. If I'm gonna show him and Lego how to actually make things more interesting, though, I need one more suggestion. What's up, generic stud? So I want you to combine two themes: Star Wars and the Muppet. I have a serious Muppet hoarding collection problem. I need help. Naturally, I went out and bought this box. Yeah, it is it's the Muppets. All right then, so let's see uh, what I've got. Beautifully, uh, carefully opened. And would you look at that? All right, first up, uh, we've got this guy. The thing is, I actually don't know anything uh, about the Muppets. Ed Sheeran, I think. But I do know quite a bit about Star Wars. So after finishing building the minifigures up, I knew exactly what I had to do. This is my final chance to prove to Lego just how interesting their sets could be. And this is a clone army of Muppets characters. Hey, generic, um, why do they have guns and armor on? Well, it's pretty weird of you to talk to your screen, so, um, but basically the reason is because they're looking for Baby Yoda in Muppets form. And eventually they find him and start absolutely annihilating him until the Muppet Alorian steps in and puts an end to things. What, what is that? It's not a Muppet. Well, if you take his helmet off, yes, uh, he, he's quite cursed. I'm so sorry you had to see that. But hang on a second, who's that above him? It is, of course, the one and only Obi Muppet Kenobi, who looks uncanny, Love by it. the way, and could probably take on Lego designers himself, and maybe knock some sense into them that sets like this are boring, and we need some random kid-friendly characters with guns, because why not? It's, it's fun. I'm just saying that if we all come together and combine as many random sets as we possibly can, Lego might start to get the idea they need to change something. So let me see what you're made of. Smash that subscribe button for generic stud. I don't know.